Hi. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Sony ICD UX570. I've talked about this little recorder in previous videos, and actually the narration that you're hearing right now is being recorded with the Sony ICD UX570. As I've mentioned before, it is a little digital handheld recorder that I absolutely love. I use it for everything. I use it for YouTube videos, for podcasts, uh, for recording uh, my own personal music. It really has 101 uses. Now again, this is not an endorsement. I'm not being paid by Sony to say any of this. This is my own personal opinion. And I will remind you that I do have a playlist dedicated exclusively to the ICD UX 570. I highly recommend that you check that out. I'll post a link to that at the end of this video. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on four things. So four features, four adjustments that you can do with your Sony ICD UX 570. The first one is how to adjust the built-in mic sensitivity. Number two, the recording filter. Number three, how to record with an external microphone. And number four, sync recording. Now, before I go any further, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos all the time. And anytime someone subscribes to my channel, it really helps my channel grow and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay, first of all, let's talk about adjusting the built-in microphone sensitivity. So first of all, go to settings, select built-in microphone sensitivity, and use the up and down arrow keys to select either for voice or for music. Now for voice, you have the choice of automatic, which automatically sets the sensitivity level. You have high sensitivity, which should be used for very distant or soft voices, especially if you're in a very large room. The medium setting should be used for small meetings or interviews with maybe a small little group of two to three people. And low sensitivity is used if you're speaking directly into the microphone. Maybe you're making voice notes, maybe you're a student, or nearby loud voices. If, if it's a group of people that's being very loud and noisy, you want the sensitivity to be low. Now for recording music, Again, you can choose automatic, which will set the sensitivity automatically. You can choose high if you're recording small group performances or maybe instruments that are very distant and far away from you. Medium would be used for live music from a distance of about one to two meters, uh, roughly six feet. And you want to have low sensitivity if you're recording very loud live music. Maybe you're at a very loud concert, maybe you're very close to the stage and it's very, very loud, you want your sensitivity to be low. When you're done setting your sensitivity, press and hold the back slash home button to go back to the home menu. Now, number two, let's talk about the recording filter. Go to settings, select recording settings, and then select recording filter. Use the up and down arrow keys to select your choice, then press play. Now, what are your choices? Well, you have off, so you can turn the filter off, and you also have NCF, which stands for noise cut. And this basically will cut high frequency sounds, except for human voices. You have LCF, your low cut filter, and this will cut low frequency sounds such as the noise from a projector or maybe wind noise so by using that low cut filter you can cut down on those particular noises if, if that happens to be uh, in your situation when you're done choosing your filter setting press backslash home to go back to the home menu now number three recording with an external microphone very simple. First of all, connect your external microphone into the microphone jack on top of the recorder. Now, as soon as you do that, it should immediately say on the display screen, external input setting that should appear on 
the display window. You will use the up and down arrow keys to select microphone in, then you press play. Now, after you do that, depending on your recording situation, you may need to adjust the microphone sensitivity, which we talked about a little earlier in this video. Then simply press record and pause to start recording and stop when you are finished recording. Now, a very important note, something to keep in mind. The microphone jack on the Sony ICD-UX570 is intended for a stereo microphone connection. If you plug in a monophonic microphone, you will only have recording on one channel. So please be very cautious about that. Um, yeah, so if you record with a monophonic microphone, it's going to sound really weird and you'll only have recording on the left channel and nothing on the right. Now, finally, number four, let's talk about sync recording. Sync recording is a very handy feature and basically it enables uh, recording to start automatically as soon as you start an external source, whether that external source be a, a tape deck or a radio or whatever it may be. Now, what you do is you attach an external source into the microphone jack using the correct audio connection cable. You may need to buy a cable depending on the specific connections or depending on what you're connecting. Again, whether it be a, a radio, a tape deck, a turntable, you basically connect it into the microphone jack using the correct audio cable. Now, as soon as you do that, external input setting will appear in the display and you want to use your arrow up and down to select audio in and then press play. And you use the sync function to record. You select yes and then press play and you simply press record and pause and pause will appear on the screen. As soon as you start playback on the external source, whether it be a tape deck, etc., the UX570 will automatically start recording. And if there is no sound for two seconds, it will automatically pause. And when the sound resumes, it will restart recording, as simple as that, saving the audio to a new file. So thank you very much. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you really enjoy using your Sony UX ICD570. Again, I absolutely love mine. I use it all the time. It's a very, very versatile recorder and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and please, as always, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.